So Father, our eyes are fixed on you, O God, the author and the finisher of our faith. We declare, my Father, my King, there shall be no principality, no power of darkness over Kiambu that is speaking, O Lord Jehovah God, as we get into the elections. But even beyond that, O God, we return Kiambu to Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. We return Kiambu to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Father God, just deal with that connection in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against, O God, everything that could be holding off the connection in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, O Lord Jehovah God, for sending Central Kenya. We thank you, O oh God, for the beauty that has been Central Kenya, O oh Lord Jehovah God. But Father God, we refuse to agree with pride and a sense of entitlement and a sense, O oh Lord Jehovah God, of thinking, O oh Lord Jehovah King of glory, that politicians can speak anyhow. In the name of Jesus, every demon that politicians may be using, in the name of Jesus, we silence it in Jesus' name. I declare that there shall be no power that is used of darkness, O oh God, in this whole area, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father God, you know that we are standing, oh God, in the name of Central Kenya as a province, oh God, in the initial plan, oh God, and whatever was planned in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we stand in the gap. Lord, we cry to you from Kiambu, oh Lord Jehovah God, and we ask you to give us the land in the name of Jesus as an inheritance for you, oh Lord Jehovah God. We surrender it to you in the name of Jesus. We take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that there is no weapon that is fashioned against us that will prosper. Every time that rises up against us in judgment, we condemn, for this is our our heritage, our servants of the Lord, and our calling is from you, O Lord Jehovah. We thank you for your power in this place. We thank you for your glory in this place. Father God, we thank you that we come in your name, O Lord Jehovah God, and there is nothing that can stand against those that come in your name in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, King of glory. My Father, my God, I pray that today you will put, O Lord Jehovah God, a hunger, O God, in the people of Kiambu for you. Father God, the, 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 the sense of of comfort we live in the name of Jesus my father my God I pray for humility on the land in the name of Jesus my father my God I pray oh Lord Jehovah God for a love for Kenya as opposed to feeling as though central Kenya is the only province in this nation in the name of Jesus my father right now we counter every spirit of division that is in this land in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jehovah God, every giant that may be trying to speak on this land in the name of Jesus, we bring you down in the name of Jesus Christ and we speak with authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you praise, oh Lord Jehovah God, for there is none like you, oh God. Contend, oh Lord Jehovah God, with everything that contends against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Contend, oh Lord Jehovah God, with anything that tries to arise against you and against your purpose for this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy of revival, we pull it down in the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar that is not of you, we pull it down in the name of Jesus Christ. We take authority over the Asherah poles. We break them in the name of Jesus Christ. We scatter the sacred stones of a central Kenya in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, even from this significant land, oh Lord Jehovah God, we take authority, Lord Jehovah, even as you are reminding me through the power of the Holy Spirit, that this is the land, oh Lord Jehovah God, of the first president Oh Lord Jehovah God, we revisit, oh Lord Jehovah God, and the altars that were put, oh God, during the independence time. We revisit, oh Lord Jehovah God, the issue of bloodshed, the more, more blood that continues to speak today. My Father, my God, we speak the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God. In the name of Jesus, every life that was lost, Lord, we repent. We repent in the name of Jesus. We repent in the name of Jesus. Any curse that may have been spoken over the land, oh God, by people who felt like they're dead for nothing. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we take authority now. We take authority now. Father God, we deal with the issue of broken covenants in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that this land shall not be a place of broken covenants in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, any oaths that have been spoken in this place, we break them and we stand on the covenant of the Lord Jesus Christ as the only covenant that will speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you. We praise you, Lord Jehovah God. We repent for the sins of this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, guys, if you're from this area and you have revelation, just comment, just comment, just comment. We're interceding for the land. We're interceding for the land. I'll just share as you comment in the name of Jesus. So we've been in a series of crusades that the Lord sent us to um, as a church last year, just to recap. The Lord told me, um, uh, if Kenya goes into elections the way it is, there shall be heavy bloodshed. 
and asked the Lord, what do we do? And the Lord said, cry for revival. And as we cried for revival and I began to see revival in our church, the Lord said, now go out to the counties and raise up the flag of revival. However, the Lord has said, if there is any refusal of revival, if revival is not allowed in this nation, then we shall have a genocide worse than Rwanda. So it's a serious issue. It's a serious issue and we need to cry out to the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a serious issue and you need to cry out to the Lord. If you're in Gashia area, please come and join us. If you're in Gashia area, just come out. If you're in Kambu area, just drop whatever you are doing. Come to the presence of the Lord and let us cry out to God. Now, just to recap on the things that we've dealt with, just very much the same way that we did with Muranga. And I'm sharing this because of the need for intercessors out there to know and to pray and to stand. Because a lot of times we deal with things in the physical. We need to learn to battle our wars in the spiritual realm. Battle our wars in the spiritual realm, not in the physical realm. Hallelujah. So this week as we are praying for, for, for um, uh, Kiambu, the Lord sent us into prayer and fasting. And uh, we started uh, on Wednesday, um, fasting on Monday, but uh, started with uh, our crusades and our fire, uh, fire services on Wednesday. And we've seen the glory of the Lord. But another thing that happened is that suddenly I got very, very sick. And my stomach has been running. And I've, uh, fortunately, when I went into the presence of the Lord, the Lord healed that. But the running continued and I've been asking the Lord, what is this about that is trying to defy things? The other thing that has come is a sense of terror, just fear. A fear that I can't explain, a, a fear and intimidation. But then you must know that Kiambu has the name, a place of screams. Bu is screams. Kia means the place of, yeah? So it's a place of screams. And as we've come here daily, the Lord has just been speaking about the strongholds and everything. This morning, um, as of this morning, I was telling the Lord, Father, I'm preaching this afternoon and I don't have a word. And it's not uncommon for the Lord to, to move um, and for the Lord to, to, to speak just as I'm getting onto the pulpit. I'm used to that, but something felt uncomfortable. My eyesight also began to get compromised. So I've been finding this week, I feel like I have some milk over my eyes and I knew that it is a spiritual thing. So as I got onto the floor this morning, I just began to weep to the Lord and cry to the Lord and, and just, you know, uh, my parents are both from Kiambu, so this is pr pretty much home, uh, even though I've never been to this particular place. But I was just weeping on the land and I'm just crying and I'm saying, Lord, I weep for my people, I weep for my people. And the Lord told me to pray the way Moses prayed and told me that this is a declaration like in Pharaoh's time when the Lord sent Moses to go and declare let my people go so that they may worship me let my people go so that they may glorify me let my people go so that they may lift up my name and the Lord started telling me do not realize that the wealth of Kiambu Kiambu was known as a wealthy place but the wealth of Kiambu has been stolen over time and the Lord began to show me jealousies uh, based on the pride of the land and just people walking through this place and feeling why, why, why are they the only ones that seem to be having material wealth. And there's some witchcraft that the Lord revealed to me that has been spoken against the area of Kiambu. And as a result, there's been a kind of uh, slumber that has also resulted in a lot of drug addiction, the mungikis and all those kind of things that the enemy has used against the land to cause them to sin and to open the way for the land for the enemy to come and to maraud the land. And we are here to pull all that down in the name of Jesus. And we declare that Central Kenya shall be greater than before. But not just Central Kenya, but the entire country of Kenya in the name of Jesus Christ. But the reason they shall be great will not be based on any wrongful thing or any funny covenant. What it shall be based on is that the land will have returned to the Lord. And this is our message for every land that we are going to. That return to the Lord, return to our first love. We cannot count on human beings. We cannot count on men and women. As um, I, I, I prayed, as I kept praying, I was on the floor just weeping before the Lord. The Lord told me, rest. And I said, okay, Lord, why are you telling me to rest? It's a time for prayer. And the Lord says, I want you to rest. And I got into bed. And as I was getting into bed, the Lord said, begin to declare, my help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. So I kept saying that. I kept saying that. And then the Lord told me, I want you to speak that over the land of Kiambu and to tell them to stop trusting in leadership to stop trusting in presidency, to stop trusting in kingdoms, and to begin to shift their eyes and look upon me, otherwise the land will continue to degenerate and will continue to fall and businesses will continue to crash because of the trust in human beings, because cursed are the ones who trust in human beings. Anyone who trusts in a human being, the Bible says, is a curse. So this story of believing what the president, I don't know what, 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 we need to forget about that. 
we need to forget about that. We should be praying for the president, by the way. Otherwise, he has confessed that he does not know what, what, to, what to do. He's asked Nataka Nidu. So when the president says that, what do you expect? Turn to the Lord and cry to the Lord. Pray for any president that ever takes the seat. Any president that ever takes the seat, we must pray. The word of God tells us to pray for our leaders because when we pray for our leaders, we're the ones who benefit uh, from those prayers for our leaders. So we're just about to start our crusade. Please pray with us. Please stand with us. We bless the Lord. We believe we're going to see great things. Indeed, we have seen miracle signs and wonders. My favorite one was yesterday as I walked into the church, the Lord told me that lady, there was a lady in blue and the Lord said, that lady is going to be healed. I couldn't tell what was up with her, but the Lord told me she's paralyzed, she's going to be healed. And before the end of the service, she was walking. She was walking and in the power of the Lord through healing. And I can't forget the sound in my ears of her sobbing before God and crying before God. And I got to hear her story. Apparently, just a few days ago, she had been told by the doctors that there's nothing they can do for her. She had a tumor, and she was told there's nothing they can do for her. Well, when go nothing can happen, the doctors don't have any solutions. When the presidents don't have any solutions, when no one has any solutions, Jesus has solutions. Let's cry out to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Please pray with us, intercede with us, and if you're around here, come. Come in the name of Jesus. Await a good testimony.